the real estate here in Hong Kong, it's freaking expensive. Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, I'm cleaning up the area. Well, this is not actually a full studio. Now, some of you may know this, this area used to be a shop, but now it's more like a storage. We get asked a lot whether we will rent it out, and the answer is always a big fat no. You see, these books, these cameras, these toys, none of them are a prop. They are, in fact, part of my history. So I would feel somewhat uncomfortable when a stranger is toying with my toys. I know it sounds a bit immature, I just don't want these toys to get damaged, you know, accidentally. As I'm cleaning up the place, I realize just how many cables I have in my possession. I mean, just look at it. Cables are everywhere. I need a cable for my phone. I need another cable for my battery charger. And I need more cables for my hard drives. But still, I am buying more cables. For example, this full-size HDMI cable. This cable is for attaching the external screen onto the Leica SL. But the problem with this cable is it's too stiff. It gets in the way when I'm trying to tilt the screen up or down. So I went out and bought myself a softer HDMI cable. Cable. But you know what? I have to get more cables because I need a different cable to attach the screen onto the GFX. And of course, the story doesn't stop there. For example, my computer uses Thunderbolt 2. So I got the adapter from Thunderbolt 2 to USB-C. I think it's fair for me to say I am sick and tired of these cables. I will need to buy more cables. <laughs> this particular cable is somewhat different because I have myself here the Sony Mavic, I think it was first launched in 1997. This puppy here uses a floppy disk. <laughs> because we have the floppy disk as well. The funny thing is this darn thing is still working. You know, you, when you turn the power on, see, let me insert it and close it. Okay, you see that date, 1997. The only problem I'm having right now is how do I transfer the image to my computer? But I will need a cable. It uses USB type 1.1, I believe. The never ending purchase of a cable, damn it. So what's it like living in Hong Kong? Well, first off, like the grass is always greener. This place is expensive, literally. It's, sort, it's really vibrant because the place is so crowded with people like 24-7. Yeah, it's convenient. There are a lot of restaurants, relatively inexpensive restaurants all over the place. But if you want Michelin grade, then expect to pay premium. But what about living, actually living in Hong Kong? Now, from a, uh, from a Joe Blow's point of view, Hong Kong is so damn crowded. I find it to be too crowded. You know, I don't really fancy it that much. There are a lot of reports saying Hong Kong, it's one of the, no, no, I would say one of the, it's the most expensive city to live in. Buy a property, to rent a property, wait, rent or lease. Say for example, like a tiny apartment, you know, it's 200 square feet, the size of a bedroom, I suppose. I, I have no idea how you can live in that size, but anyhow, you know, if you want to buy Expect to pay approximately four to five million Hong Kong dollars. Um, do the calculation, divide it by eight, if you want to convert it into the US dollar. And what, what, how much is that? That's, uh... so it isn't the most expensive it's actually more expensive than London. Um, I think Singapore comes in second. You know, if you're renting a place, either to live or to have a shop, a restaurant, for example, or even a camera shop, expect the landlord will increase your rental um, for the next contractual period. So that's no good. Oh, well, it's no good because we're talking about 40 to 60% increment. The whole economy is booming. That's why the property market is going up. So it should be good, right? Yeah, yeah, may, maybe. Well, the bottom line is, I think it's beginning to jeopardize small businesses. I, I've read an article saying a healthy, stable economy should consist of 20 to 30 percent small businesses. But this is not the case in Hong Kong. The rental is so damn expensive, it's basically killing or even is stopping small businesses or as a new startup. 
these commercials made by the government on TV saying like, hey, the government is launching trillions of dollars. They're trying to promote technology, apps development, biomedicine, AI robotic into new startups, promote this and that, whatever it's happening at the Silicon Valley, I suppose, uh, the government is trying to push it. Yeah, this is what they say in the newspaper, but I, I mean, this is crazy. I'm okay with the financial planning part for me and Carmen, and we don't have kids. So, so that, that saves us quite a lot of, I own prop, technically speaking, I should be happy, right? That was a lucky move. Well, the rental alone will take away at least 60% of your monthly income. I wasn't expecting the overall property market to be, to have gone up at this rate. I mean, this is ridiculous. In my opinion, there are two reasons why the property, number one is, you know, obviously the interest rate linked to the US dollars. Whatever you know, the Federal Reserve decides to raise or Hong Kong follow suits. So right now at this moment, the interest rate is pretty darn low. It's almost close to nothing. I have no complaint there. And number two, it's foreign direct investment coming into Hong Kong. Hey, don't get me wrong. I believe in a free market, so I'm cool with that. It is what it is. I'm just going with the flow. Guys, take note, I am no financial analyst. These opinions, they are really biased, but they are in fact my personal experience. Easy come, but easy go. And gradually I realized like, hey, I'm getting old. Well, luckily I pull out from the stock market before the financial tsunami back in, uh, in 2009, I think, or 2010. You know, everything was cheap, including the property. Well, basically everything was cheap. The episode is about, I just wanted to share with you guys about my past. You know, just a glimpse of it. So yeah, that's it for this episode. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.